Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this reading could definitely resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Eshu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florine Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Okay, guys, how you doing on this Thursday? All right, I hope your day is going well. Um, let's get into this. I got something for everybody. This is a lot of energy. It made me nervous too. Your first row made me so nervous. I like looked at this and I said, man, who are you trying to fool? Don't play with people like this, with this love stuff I'm seeing. I got nervous. Seriously, I had to eat a piece of cheesecake before I even started recording. I just needed to calm myself down. Okay. Because, um, you know, to see the two of cups and the ace of cups, that's some very strong love and emotion, but then the cards surrounding it, I just... I'm not feeling it. I'm really not feeling it. Um, on um, another note, though, work looks good for you guys, especially you guys that are still diligently working on something. Your These special contacts came up again in the spread. Um, so I feel like I have something for everybody today. OK, so I, 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 for those of you dealing with twin flame issues, that energy is here. For those of you who are not dealing with that and are focused on something totally different, I have your energy here as well. Um, if you resonate with both, then then you resonate with both because I've been picking up uh, these separate energies uh, continuously now. And the one thing that I remembered is um, when I was doing, um, it was two, two, maybe two, three readings ago, but I said that they would come back uh, stronger next time. And that's how I feel that's why it made me so nervous and I needed some cheesecake because I said, damn, this is how I feel about this twin flame stuff and also maybe this jealousy thing because uh, the five of air, five of air in reverse came out again, came out again, which is talking about extreme envy, extreme envy. So that was one thing. But don't worry about that uh, because, you know, you still have the three of fire, you still have the three of fire. OK. And I will read you what that card means in a second. But uh, I just wanted to say, what did I want to say? Definitely there's something happening for you guys in the winter time. There could also be something happening or occurring for you right now. This, I think we're coming up in Leo season either today or tomorrow. I think the 23rd or 22nd starts Leo season um, because we got the fire element. And what's crazy is guys, I, when I'm using the Orisha Tarot, I rarely get these element cards because the element cards have to do with times that um, that coincide with the zodiac sign. Literally, time is of the essence. That's all I have to say. Certain things will be either starting or ending in these periods. It could be this coming Leo season. Definitely, I already told you I'm picking up fall and winter for certain um, shifts and changes. Uh, whether that be uh, a state of enlightenment, getting some sort of spiritual activation or um, starting a new job, endeavor or project or actually like um, the door opening for something that's bigger than what, you, you know, not bigger than what you've been working on. But like what you've been working on, it could finally be shown. Um, you can receive some sort of compensation for it. you could tag team up with another uh, person to um, really bring it to fruition, something like that. OK, these the, I, like all the time. I'm always getting these element cards, right? So things are happening. Things are moving. Things are ending and things are beginning. All right. But you got to be careful about this twin flame mess, man, because it came out very, very strong. We got two kings, two queens. We got the king of pentacles. Okay. He came in the reverse. We got the king of swords. He came in the reverse. And then at the bottom, we have the Queen of Swords in the upright and the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. This was uh, 
the third card and this was the, the fourth and last card in your third row in your future space right so let's start i'll start with the tarot and then move on to uh your orisha spread so for those of you who are not dealing with the twin flame journey bear with me as i go through this energy um this could also sometimes if i'm not looking at this as love relationships be careful with the jobs you choose you know the, the different jobs you pick uh the places that are trying to make you stay um, they could try to offer you more to keep you when you know you want to leave. So if you feel that way, go, go. And this is what I want to, now I'm going to get into this. So your first row, we got the two of cups. Okay. Two of cups. Cause that could be a friendship, love relationship contract, but I'm picking up some relationship energy. Um, we got the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay. We got the ace of cups. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which comes out all the time, in the reverse. All right, Seven of Pentacles always comes out for you guys. Wait, I'm missing something. Here's my note. Okay, so what your first row is saying, whatever these emotions are that this man or woman or friend, whatever this is, is showing you, I believe it. I believe it. I don't think that they are going to treat you right in the long run, though. Um, I'm not picking up. This isn't false. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. OK, two of cups in the upright, ace of cups in the upright. I was like, damn, that's that's an overwhelming love. But the problem is the person who has this overwhelming love for you is a king of pentacles in the reverse. OK, this is someone who, you know, materialism is more important and and money their image um really making sure they have enough because if this person is lazy but they like a certain lifestyle they'll do whatever they have to do to keep that lifestyle you know okay so because your first row with the seven of pentacles next to the ace of cups this is really saying that um somebody is tired of waiting for love and i know you guys are tired of being patient i know you probably are tired of hearing me say just wait keep being diligent be patient divine timing but that's the truth. And you could be at this point where it's like, I don't want to wait. And this person that I'm feeling is actually reciprocating back the same emotions that I'm feeling. Like, you know, we're actually going out. When I express how much I love them, they tell me how much they love me. I could I could feel it. I could. There is even I mean, you guys are obviously having sex. There's sex here with the um, what is this? This is the ace of cups, two of cups. Let me see. Hold on. What I got? No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. Six of cups. Sorry. Six of cups, two of cups. Six of cups and two of cups. All right. The soulmate sex. Okay. So I don't, I don't doubt that the, the sex, there is a, a connection there. I don't doubt that when you guys are near each other and talking about things that there is a, a distinct real connection, but you guys aren't really together or the way you're getting together is not right. Because even though I'm picking up two pairs of twin flames with the king and queen, which if they were in the upright, this would have been perfect balance, perfect balance, but it's not. And then the king and queen of those are the king and queen of pentacles, then the king and queen of swords. See, out of balance. This is out of balance. And then another thing to say out of balance is the six of cups, but it came in the reverse, which is disharmony. This is another thing about out of balance. So even though there's all these emotions and stuff, it's not balanced. It's not. It's not at all. At all. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Um, something tells me that whether you guys are dealing with this now or maybe somebody could be coming in in the future, they're tied to someone else. They're tied to someone else. And I'm going to tell you, too. They will they they're not going to meet your requirements, especially your spiritual requirements or um, I believe the way you want the relationship to go. At the end of the day, when you have a king of Pentacles, king of Swords, king of swords in reverse, both kings, you're dealing with a lot of manipulation, a lot of ego and somebody who could turn very, very mean and cold on you in an instant. And the one thing that I do know is that this king of Pentacles in the end, from what I could see in the spread, will go back to the person that they are already with. See, they could be having, um, you know, just the worst time with the person that they're with right now and and giving in to the emotions and the feelings that they feel for you. But at the end of the day, they're not going to be able to meet you where you are 
and they're, they're going to want their way. And they usually get their way with the people they already deal with. So that's where they're going to go back to. I just want to let you know that. All right. So let me get into your second one. We got the King of Swords in the reverse. We have the Eight of Swords in the upright. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. And then we have the Three of Wands. What I strongly feel, even though uh, this person could have a lot of love for you, they are very, very indecisive and trapped in their head about what they want to do. And I'm trying to tell you, it's because they literally think about how I love you, whoever you are, so much. But how does this relationship serve me? They want to be the one to gain the most out of whatever it is that they're doing, regardless if they feel all of this love for you or not. This has to benefit them more than it benefits anybody. You, the person they used to be with, whatever the case may be. That's what I'm feeling. And see, this three of wands, this is, uh, God is good. Because I'm going to tell you guys something. If, if God didn't want you guys to not get trapped into these relationships, I wouldn't even be able to read this energy. And this is why God keeps telling you to be patient and, and giving you grace, you know, and letting you know, like, even when I did your spirit reading yesterday, see this love. Remember that card when I said, um, you may not even know that you're trapped in someone's net because the net was telling you it's time for you to cast your net and get your fish, right? And those are the things that you've been waiting for. But then it said on the negative side, you could be in someone's net and don't even know that the net is tightening up on you. This is this, okay? So here, when they talk about this patience, it's for a reason. So you get the best outcome. You get what you truly want because seven of pentacles energy in reverse is a waste of time. This is a waste of time, a waste of energy and effort. You may feel, and see, because Ace of Cups, Two of Cups says, right now, this feels good, right? It feels good, but it also talks about like the Ace and the Two of Cups, beginnings. So right now it's good, but later, what is it gonna end up like? And I'm trying to tell you, you can get left standing wherever you at, and then you could be feeling like, damn, I gave all of that energy. I planted a lot of seeds into that and I didn't get a return on my investment. I didn't get that at all. Okay. And then underneath uh, one card talking about time and patience is another card talking about pause and patience and expanding. See, don't waste your time on these false twins and spend more time on these, especially if you guys, if this energy, if both energies I'm about to read to you resonate with you on these new contacts and opportunities. See, this is opportunity. This is growth and expansion. Th I mean, this is literally cooperating and collaborating to expand, getting bigger, reach getting bigger, going further, okay? That's what that energy is trying to tell you to do. Let that person be locked up in their head. You don't get trapped in your head about this. You probably already got something going on right now, okay? You got something going on and you have plans and ideas that you need to get... Um, get going and get out there but see because at the bottom is very very clear this is your energy wisdom your wives queen of swords you've already peeped that this is wrong you could already tell something's not right but these emotions are strong okay then you have the queen of pentacles you're about to get some money because this this three of uh wands is sitting over the queen of pentacles okay you're expanding uh, you could own your own business. You could uh, you could definitely definitely be a mother, father, have children because we got the Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles in there. That usually indicates someone who has children. Um, but this is someone who has it together, very organized, very wise, willing to cut out things that don't serve them, male or female, whoever you are. It's, I, I know that you have the capability or already on track for something, already starting something. And then here comes this crazy like love energy or here it comes again. And this time it's coming stronger. And then they're claiming I'm giving you everything. And they're not because right next to these two queens is the page of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right. That saying, if it's something you're studying and working on in the reverse, you're not doing it. OK. Um, if you're trying to be disciplined, dedicated and moving at a, a steady, even pace, which is also here in your eight of earth, these two cards, actually, they match each other, except this is in the reverse. Um, 
this is saying you 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 won't be at the right pace and speed to get to what you want but you know and this is going steady going steady not quick nothing quick it's a steady pace but it's steady towards success all right when you aren't when you're in this other person's energy this is what you're in you're unfocused you're not on that pace anymore also the uh with the king of swords in reverse sitting over the page of pentacles even though this person has a lot of love for you, the offer that they're giving you is meager. You know, I, you know, like right now they could be saying like, well, I can't, you know, give you a full relationship right now. All I could do is find time when I can because I'm dealing with this and that. And you know how she is or you know how he is and blah, 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 blah. A lot of excuses, a lot of a little bit of nothing, a little bit of nothing. So um, why waste your time? The other big thing that I'm noticing with your spread over here to the left is all of the pinnacles. There are a lot of pinnacles out here. So we got a king of pinnacles. We have the seven of pinnacles. Okay, then we have a page of pinnacles. Then we have a knight of pinnacles. And then we have a queen of pinnacles. There's a lot of money, a lot of money to be made for you. Definitely a lot of money to be made for you. That's why you don't need to be wasting your time or getting distracted. Also, the fact that this other person, money's on their mind too. Money is on their mind. So just don't let that, um, don't let this energy distract you. I swear, made me nervous seeing these uh, cups because I was like, damn, what is this? But it ain't right. It ain't right. Now, moving over to the right, to your Orisha. This is a five card spread to go with this. So for those of you who may not be dealing with twin flame issues and different things like that, um, there is an issue here, though. This this the man. This is like uh, this could also indicate materialism too, falling into materialistic attitudes. But it's um, also like not understanding something, feeling a little uneasy about something. And then we have the seven of fire right here. But it came in reverse. What this had talked about was uh, paying something back in kind. If somebody, and this is the weird thing, because remember uh, in the last spread, I told you, you know, you guys got to kind of get out of these situations the best you can. Maybe you got to be a little clever about it. Figure out how you can pull yourself out. If somebody owes you money or you owe someone money and you don't have it all or that person doesn't have it all, there could be an agreement that could be um, set between you two that can sort of squash this so you can move on. And paying back in kind is basically paying in goods and services, okay? It's like the equivalent of whatever the monetary value is, but I'm giving it to you this way. You know, I mean, if we're thinking about all these situations, since we do have an element of children here, because I mean, we have a king, queen of pentacles and a page of pentacles, and then we have the six of cups, which also indicates children. Like, let's say it's child support. And he or she can't pay it or whatever. It's like, okay, well then, then we can make an agreement. You pick up the kids on this day. You know, these are your days. You pay for school clothes. You buy this. I buy that. If you guys are civil enough to make certain agreements like that so that um, things don't get ugly or drawn out, then okay. That, that could be an option for you. But um, if you owe someone something, if you know you do, Figure out how to give it back. If you can't give it back monetarily, find another way. What does that person like, need? What do they need? And sometimes give more because it's not because you're not giving back uh, as much as it was when it was owed. Make sure you get a little more out of it. And I mean, I'm sorry whether you're the person that owes or they owe you, but there's a level of interest there because it's not exactly what I gave you. So the, it, it needs to be. Um, a, whatever it is good enough to be like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm good with that. And we're done. That's, there's an energy right there that I feel for that. So for whoever is dealing with that, um, just settle it the best way you can on an agreed upon level that it's, you know, it's all good. Now I told you the envy still here, the extreme envy, and I'm going to read you these three cards because I like them so much. I need my book about your energy. Let me see. So the three of fire, Three of fire, okay? This says, income obtained. Oh my, I thought it was something on my hand. Sorry, guys. I thought it was chocolate from that cheesecake. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, income obtained. It says, uh, as a result of cooperation and great effort, okay? Power, nobility, and fortune. 
Influential people will cooperate or associate with you. Freedom and autonomy in any undertaking. For the torches represent the power of your free will and the strength of your spirit. Okay, guys, see? And I mean, and like I said, even if it is like cooperation of determining how we could settle a debt, cool. But honestly, like, look, we got bags of gold here. And this is from you working with other people. All right? Um, remember, don't waste your time. It's a lot of pinnacles over here on the left. A lot. A lot of pinnacles. So don't let these emotions and, and weak offers, you know, distract you. So your next card, uh, Eight of Earth. Eight of Earth. And this is just like the uh, Eight of Pentacles, you know? He's down working, focused. Okay, so give me a sec. Eight of Earth. Okay. Eight of Earth says... Eight of Earth says, A road travel at a slow but safe pace. Okay? Just like that Knight of Pentacles I was telling you. It, you're going to get whatever reward it is just coming at a steady pace. So keep on, keep on the right road. So... A road travel at a slow but safe pace through learning, which, man, that's crazy. Because, look, I swear to God, this is a road being traveled, and a page of Pentacles is a student, okay? And these two, right? I told you, uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's just the way spirit does. So it says, um, it says, sorry, lost my place. You'll become aware that you are able to create not only new systems for profit, um, but also science, arts, alchemy, from the most trivial to that which the human mind has not yet discovered. This does not mean you cannot ask for help. Which is crazy because this just told you you're going to be cooperating. You're going to be cooperating with certain people and gaining a lot. Look how much you gain. This is what you gain. Mm -hmm. Creating new systems for profit. All right. All right. So, and it says you, and don't, and uh, it, this doesn't mean you can ask for, you don't have to ask for help. This is what it's talking about. All right. Because you asking for help actually gets you more. You cooperating with others gets you more. All right. Um, your next card that I want to read for you is karma. Karma. And this is in the upright. Thank God. Okay. So let me get karma for you. One sec, guys. Karma says, in the upright, if we live our lives, if we live our lives according to truth and justice, we will be rewarded with good karma. This is wise teaching where time is of the essence. And I'm trying to tell you, time is definitely of the essence for you guys. This is why they're warning you not to get entangled with things that are distracting. So it says, uh, where time is of the essence. Let us not lose it. Let us not lose time. Freedom of spirit, reward for good work, legal actions and conflicts are in your favor, which is another reason why I was saying, you know, paying back in kind may solve whatever disputes are going on. OK, um, it says they're in your favor. Along the road, we will find the true oasis, regardless of the obstacles or difficulties encountered. Let us do away with them. Let us use the intelligence and free will our Lord has given us and help our fellow human beings, respecting and loving them all, loving them above all, okay? Great, this is good energy. This is really, really good energy, all right? And, and, and that's what it's trying to do. God, like when I'm telling you, um, solve disputes and issues is so that these obstacles could be overcome and you can focus. You can focus and do what you gotta do. Karma's in your favor. Um, the ability to, for you to get this money is in your favor. Watch out for envious people, okay? Because the other thing, too, is, like, even if on the other end with this, like, negative twin flame stuff going on, I don't know, you know, just because somebody love you don't mean they're not hating on you. I swear, they could love you and be very jealous. They could, because uh, jealousy is just love on the furthest negative extreme, you know? Admire you so much, want to be you, but mad that they can't be like you, so they do things to sabotage you. With, like with that gun I was telling you guys about, you know, you don't you don't need this energy. Get away. Don't don't let impatience about love cause you to pull in negative twins because they'll, they'll keep coming one after the next. They'll just keep coming, you know. So, you know, let this energy go. Focus more on whatever it is you got going. It's a lot of money here. 
I mean, I'm, I keep picking up the ability for you guys to create real wealth, like a lot of money. Pinnacles are all over your tarot right now. OK. And I mean, it could be money lost simply because the focus wasn't there. Could you believe that? Like the amount of money you could have had if you had only not spent time with so-and-so, spent that Saturday or Sunday with them, laid up in the bed with them all day, talked about nothing with them. That was all money, money, money. So I'm not trying to say money is the main focus, but wouldn't you rather have a strong, stable foundation rather than waste time and energy and lose a person? Because that's eventually what's going to happen with this person. You would have put time and energy in and lost, or you could have put time and energy in and created a very strong, stable financial foundation for yourself. All right. That's what I have for you guys. Your energy looks good. For those of you who are focused on yourself, keep focusing on yourself. For those of you in these twin flame situations, um, really don't lie to yourself. Like assess things. Remember how they came at you. Um, you know, remember what it was like and, and don't restart something that is wrong. Cause yeah, it's really that. Yeah. Nine of wands is at the bottom. They want you to keep your boundaries up and have strength. Strength is behind that. All right. Control these emotions. You're very magnetic at this time. So that's why you're drawing in some of, you know, some positive energy and negative energy. That's just what happens. Okay. When you're, when you have this magnetic strength inner strength inside, but you got to keep your boundaries up. You guys, energy is good. It's good. But see, look at the top, that Knight of Wands, that's the streets. Okay, look, Eight of Wands is returning. You don't want the streets to return to you. You don't want to return to the streets. Leave the streets for the streets. These people are for the streets. Okay, that's what I got. Um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you later. Bye. Oh, my bad. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, the link to uh, book a reading is in the description box below. The current um, Patreon playlist is also in the description box below. If you have any business inquiries, you can email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. All right, guys. See you.